Welcome back sports fans. Here we are on task 20, drawing more complex shapes. So that's on page 41 to 43. So let's jump over here to page 41. <coughs> so as you can see, you can turn your turtle left or right, but you can also put in rather than saying turtle turn right or turn left, you can also put brackets and the number of degrees. So this enables us to draw anything which has um which is a line changing direction a particular number of degrees. So in this one it's turning six times, so it's a loop going six times, moves 100, and it turns at 60 degrees. And it tells us here that it's a hexagon. And I suspect that's true, but let's have a look at it. So there we go. So every one of those turns is degrees and it doesn't come back there because it has to it comes there because that's what we as the programmer have told it to do so if for instance we told it to turn 59 degrees it's not going to turn quite enough so let's have a look at that so it's not going to end up making a shape there's going to be a gap in it because the turns aren't quite as tight as they need to be so there you go so that's the first step so that actually frees us up to make any number of shapes. So I'm just going to delete that code and we're going to jump back to the PDF. This next bit is really quite clever. What they say is that this program, you can make it draw something with any number of sides. And we'll have a look at it in the editor and see why. So it says that sides equals 12. The length is going to be 400 around the entire shape. And so what is called length, the variable, will be 400 divided by the number of sides. So let's say you've got four sides, you know, let's come and change this to four at the top. Um, then you're going to have 100 on each side because it's 400 divided by the number of sides. And the angle is 360 because all of these shapes have 360 degrees because you've turned completely around by the time you've made them, divided by the number of sides. So if you're dividing by a lot of sides, it's less degrees each. And if you're dividing by a small number of sides, it's going to be more degrees each. And then, so you're moving um, from I, for I to the number of sides, because again, it's got to draw that many sides, and the angle it's picking up from here. So this one here with four sides is going to create us a little um, a square. So let's have a look at that. So there we go. close that and what's beautiful about code like this is we can make it create a pentagon just by changing the variable size so if it's five then all these equations are going to change such that the angle is slightly different if you look see it's not 90 degrees and so now we've made a different shape and we could even go all the way up to say if actually I've, you can do this with as little as about I mean, 15 sides if you do 15 sides, it starts to look a lot like a circle. So we, it's still kind of blocky there, but you can certainly see how it's getting towards being a circle. And if we go up to say 30 sides, I even think 25 will probably do it. Let's have a look at this. There you go. That's actually looking very much like a circle. And it's quite an efficient way for the computer to draw it too because that's a very small amount of code to create something as complicated as a circle. So, that's interesting, and that's one of my variations on that. The next thing we want to look at, and they talk here about making a circle, is that this one here is turning a little bit each time. So, we'll grab the code and then we'll talk it through. So, jump over. In this case, sides equals 50. So, the length again is 400 all round. The angle is 300 divided by sides. There's a new bit of code here, which is turtle speed, because you can say how fast the turtle goes. Now it's saying for J, so you're running a loop for J, which is one to 20. And I is one to sides. Now let's see what we use J for. Um, move turtle length, yes. Move turtle angle. In four. So why do we run? What are we running J for? I oh, know because we're drawing 
this shape 20 times and then we're turning um, 18 degrees. So you'll see what this looks like. Um, I'm going to run the example as they've done it um, and you'll see what it is. So as you can see we're creating a circle and it's, it's running through that length and now it's turned at 18 degrees and it's running it again. So now we're on J is 2 and now J is 3 and now J is 4 and so forth. So it's just going to keep going and going until it gets up to 20 which will be enough to take us all the way around the circle. But what's really nifty about this program is that you can use it for anything. You could actually change it and say, well, what if the sides were four? And as you'll see here, it's going to draw squares. And the next one will be on an 18 degree angle. And the next one will be on an 18 degree angle. And the next one, and so forth. And if you wanted to use it for triangles, you could. You could say, OK, well, you can pop in a three. And now we're going to be creating triangles. And the next thing I'm going to show you is a variation that I came up with where you don't even have to change the code. So I'll show you that. You might remember back when we started doing this work, so I'll go back to the PDF, that one of the very early things we did is we asked it what um, for, a vari for the information about a variable. I think it was our name or something. There we go. Hello world, it said. And it said something like, what's your name? Let's have a look. It. Yep, that's it. That's it. No, that's changing the colour. Let's get colours if ever we need them. Ah, here we go. So, text right window enter your name. Name equals that. So we'll go back to our thing and we'll say text right window. How many sides? How many sides? And that will equal, actually it will equal sides. So the variable for sides, rather than being hard coded into the program, it's going to ask us as the user for it. So we run this program, it's actually going to open two windows. Here we go. How many sides? Oh, let's have eight, thank you. There we go. Draws me an eight sided, a number of eight sided shapes. And I could run that again for three sides, for 20 sides, for nine half sides. So there you go, that's my variation on it. I look forward to seeing it.